Hey everyone, I'm Chris and I'm here with another episode of Red Tech. Uh, what I've got here in my hands is the brand new Epic W 5K S35. It's the same Epic W camera body we all know and love, but instead of the helium sensor, it's now equipped with Red's newest 5K S35 sensor named Gemini. Gemini has a resolution of 5120 by 3000 for a total of 15.4 megapixels. The sensor is 30.72 millimeters horizontally by 18 millimeters vertically, giving you a diagonal of 35.61 millimeters. Right off the bat, you may have noticed it's 300 pixels taller than Red's standard 5K full format resolution of 5120 by 2700. This is gonna be great for anyone who finds themselves shooting with anamorphic lenses and really wants to maximize the vertical resolution they're capturing. Now, where this camera really shines is in its low light performance. Look at the difference in shadow detail and noise. Gemini is crystal clean even at ISOs that would generally be unusable on other sensors. This is all made possible by its dual sensitivity. Dual sensitivity refers to the camera's ability to switch between a standard and low light sensor sensitivity setting. The standard setting gives you best in class dynamic range and should be used in most shooting conditions. If you're shooting outdoors or brightly lit scenes where you really need to hold on to as much detail as possible, this is the mode you'll live in. Now, when exposed equally, you can see just how much more highlight detail is retained with Gemini's standard mode versus Dragon where we're beginning to lose detail and it's starting to clip the highlights. The Gemini sensor is Red's highest sensitivity sensor to date. With dual sensitivity modes, it feels like you're getting two cameras in one. Switching between the sensitivity modes is very simple. By default, the camera will boot into standard mode. If you feel the need to switch into low light, simply tap on ISO and select low light. Honestly, the low light mode on this camera sees better in the dark than I do. You can think of shooting in low light mode as shifting your total dynamic range down about two stops. So this means you'll be able to reach into the shadows two stops further than normal and images exposed at ISO 3200 in low light mode will be just as clean as images exposed at ISO 800 in the standard mode. There's gonna be a small hit on total dynamic range compared to standard, but it's less than half a stop. Having said that, low light mode is really only intended to be used for exactly that, low light. If you start running around with it in the bright sunlight, you'd better bring along some of your favorite NDs or maybe even Red's motion mount. Switching between the sensitivity modes isn't like changing the ISO or white balancing camera. This is fundamentally changing the way light is being captured by the sensor and it's not just a raw metadata adjustment. Low light mode is gonna clip the highlights about two stops earlier than when it's in standard mode. Now remember, these stoplights are a raw meter. If you clip your highlights, you've clipped your highlights. Pulling down the ISO in post isn't gonna save you. It's not gonna bring back any of that lost detail. In Red Cine X Pro, you'll notice the LL icon listed next to any R3Ds that were shot with the low light mode enabled in camera. Uh, you can also check your R3Ds metadata. So as you can see, Gemini has a lot to offer, especially if you've been hesitant to move away from our Dragon sensor. It's not gonna beat out our large format Monstro VV 8K sensor on overall image quality, nor does it pack the pixels of our 8K helium sensor. But compared to Dragon, it's got greater dynamic range, less noise, in-camera IPP2 control, a larger field of view at high frame rates and comparable resolutions, and it can see in the dark. Again, don't just take my word for it. Please reach out to your local rental house, your local dealer, and go see it in person. All right, uh, that about covers it. So if you have any additional questions we didn't cover or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.